Morning, y'all. It is get dusty day today. So I am going to close up some of these doors just to help contain the dust. Closing the bedroom door. Although it's not sealed in yet, but it'll help. I'm going to move that out of my way. Close the kitchen hallway door. Oh, hold on. Gotta get my spectacles. A little bit of eye protection. Turn on some lights. Drop this helper. I've opened all the doors and some windows, so this isn't gonna help a whole lot, but it'll kinda block a little bit of the dust. I've got my liquid sunshine, my favorite cup, Stanley, my liquid sunshine, also known as ice water. Got the DeWalt sander with some 120 grit bits, a new battery, my hearing protection. I've been having a lot of sinusy stuff for the last month, so gross alert. I filled my sinuses, my nostrils with uh, Vix, and I'm gonna wear a mask. And I got me a Candace Cameron Bure podcast loaded up. I'm gonna uh, listen to what it means to be the body of Christ. And if y'all don't know what that means, let us know in the comments because it is important to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior because there's no takesy backsies or do overs. Once our physical body perishes, we'll either be in the presence of the Lord or, you know, in that fiery pit we also call hell. And we don't want anybody to be there. We love being Christians. We love following and serving Jesus. And it's important to us that any of you that don't know him, that you get to know him and we'd be glad to help you figure that out. Anyway, I'm gonna sand our beams. I'm gonna sand them, I've gotta wipe them off. And I'm gonna start the coat one of stain so that tomorrow, Tuesday, I can get coat two done. We've got a busy weekend. We're going to Austin to visit our baby girl for her birthday this weekend. So I don't know that these beams are gonna get put in today, or sorry, put in this week, but we're gonna at least get them ready. So let's get with it. Okay, y'all, that was the sanding and coat number one of the Bare Aged Barrel Oil One Coat Stain. You can see that there's a couple of spots. They look cool. They're not gonna be a bad Bad deal, deal, bre deal breaker. Adds to the rustic hand hewn beam look. But I'm gonna leave some doors and windows open today. Let this place air out so I don't get the kind of headache I got in the winter when we did it. I come back in 12 hours. So after lunch tomorrow, I will finish these up. Yeah, keep watching. All right, y'all. Boards are all dry. It's been about 18 hours. Still have a few of the brown spots, obviously. It was that way when we ended yesterday. I'm going to put coat number two on, and then by tomorrow, we can start hanging them. Looking good, getting closer. All right, y'all, there you have it. Two coats down, wiped off, letting it dry for 12 hours, and then they're ready to go in. Boom, shakalaka, as Pops likes to say. Now keep watching. Hey y'all, here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. Good evening. The J-O-B is over for the day. Nana done fed me some dinner. So now we're gonna do a little work this evening. We're gonna install these beam wraps in here in the living and kitchen area. So you guys keep watching, we're back to work. Okay y'all, there you go. We'll put this little temporary light fixture in for Nana. She asked that I put that in before I do the beams. So now we're gonna work on the beams. You guys keep watching. Let's go back to work. Okay y'all, there you go, that's it for tonight. I told you we weren't gonna do too much, but we got all the beam wraps installed. We just gotta come up and do a little touch up with the stain where our little nail holes, where I'm putting the nail holes and we got Nana's old light fixture, temporary light fixture over the sink area put in. And yeah, we're moving on. So I'm not sure what's up next. Probably gonna caulk. Nana's probably gonna caulk the seams. Not. Not where the light fixtures are, but like in the ends 
up there in the ends. Caulk that along the edge where that all marries up and then do the touch up stain. She'll probably take care of that sometime this week, I'm guessing. And then next up, I think, is I'll be building the saddles to go where our light fixtures are gonna go. We'll get those saddles in and then we will put our light fixtures in. Get the light fixtures in, then we're gonna move over to that window, get that window going, and then the air conditioning system. All right, you guys keep watching. See you later. All right, three times a charm. Morning, y'all. Pops has gone into the office today. I have a place to be in about an hour, but I am going to touch up the spots up here. Probably should have done this before I got dressed and ready to go to town, but let's see if I can get through this without getting covered in stain. Okay, y'all. Got all the spots touched up and wiped down. Next step is caulking. I noticed we scraped the paint up there, so I put some blue tape to remind me to check over there when I do touch up paint. I probably should have done it on this end too, but I didn't notice any. So, here we go, y'all. Completed beam. Next step is to caulk the entire length on both sides and around the ends. And then Pops is building two saddles to go where the light fixtures sit. He's, we already picked up a, a light fixture for the kitchen and a ceiling fan for the living room. So, I don't know if they'll be done this week. We've got a big Easter weekend plan with our baby girl. So we'll see when we get to the next step. Hey y'all, here we go again. It's Easter Resurrection Day, Sunday afternoon. Nana and I just got home from our daughter's house. We went to church with her and her husband this morning. And we just got home. Now we're doing a little work around here. Nana's getting ready to hit the road tomorrow. Going out west to see relatives, family, and I'll be here this week working. But right now, we're doing kind of worky things around here. Nana's getting her stuff together. And I'm over here working on actually the backer board for the air conditioning unit that's going to go in the living and kitchen area. Yeah. And I'm trying to get that cut down so that Nana can get it painted before she leaves. So I'm going to get that done. And then she's going to paint that board for me, that board over there, that's going to be the, the saddle that goes around in the kitchen, around the beam in the kitchen for the kitchen light fixture. And so I'll be working on that this week. And also the saddle that goes around the part for the living room ceiling fan. So that's what we're doing right now. We're not working super hard on this stuff because like I said, Nana's getting ready to, to roll tomorrow, but uh, we're just kind of tinkering around. So you guys keep watching, let's get back to work. Okay, y'all, that's it for today. I told you we weren't gonna do much. We're just kind of piddling around. Nana's getting ready to go out of town. We just got into town. Now she's getting ready to go out of town again. So, eh, cut some boards. She was doing some sewing and her sewing machine kind of broke down on her. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Morning. No, afternoon, y'all. I'm back. Went out of state for a few days to go visit my uncle in Arizona and Pops held down the fort with his J-O-B and did some things around here, I think. I have to put some paint on the board that is gonna be the saddle for the ceiling fan or light fixture or something on the beam in the living room. These trim pieces are for the mini split in the living room. Gotta get those painted up so Pops can get them hung up.